The University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus has partnered with the government of Trinidad and Tobago to open an offshore medical school. This was announced by UWI Vice Chancellor Professor Sir Hilary Beckles during a media conference on the university's financial future on Monday. He said due to the pandemic, the UWI is determined to cut its expenditure by 10 percent but also intends to increase its revenue by the same percentage. And with this expected offshore medical school targeted mostly towards foreign enrollment, he noted the university would be able to generate a considerable amount of revenue in the long term. Council has approved the establishment of an offshore medical school with permission to go to the market to raise a bond, 60 million US dollar bond to go to the market. That's what we're going to do. So we're working through some details with the government of Trinidad and Tobago that is partnering with the campus and with the university. And when we sort out those technical details, then we shall be going to the market to launch the UE bond. The vice chancellor also noted that this project is also possible due to agreements with the present and past governments of this country. The Prime Minister of Trinidad had engaged us in a cash for asset exchange. And as I said, in that mix, the government made available to our management a brand new state-of-the-art hospital. The previous government had given the St. Augustine campus 100 acres of land and 100 million US dollars to build out a southern campus. That southern campus has been constructed. Professor Sir Hilary Beckles said the UWI is hoping that in three to five years of its establishment, the offshore medical school would be able to contribute 25 to 30 percent of the university's revenue.